Hi, my name is Robin Wong. In this video, I want to share seven tips on how to optimize the LCD screen on your Olympus OMD cameras for image previewing purposes. I've been frequently asked on how to delete multiple images at once or how to quickly lock multiple images to prevent them from accidental deletion. There are some useful features and settings found deep in the menu system hidden in your Olympus OMD camera. I want to share those tips with you, so let's do this. Tip number one, use the video record button to mark multiple images for quick deletion. I believe that when we are shooting on the field, it is very important for us to cull our images immediately and delete the images that we don't want to keep. This will ensure a quicker process when we want to select images for post-processing. It will ensure that the overall workflow of our photography is more efficient. To select images for quick deletion, all you have to do is use the video record button at the top of your camera, the red button, press it on the image that you want to delete, mark it, and you can select multiple files to be deleted. During the image preview, we can mark this image for deletion by pressing the record button at the top of the camera. After we press the record button, you'll see the red tape mark at the top right corner of the screen. This shows that this image has been selected for deletion. So let's choose another image. Say I want to delete this particular image as well. Then I'll press the red record button again. You'll see the red tape mark up there. Let's find another image. Say I want to delete this. Then I press the record button. Then you see the red mark. So I've selected three images and I want to delete them now, all these three images together. I press the delete button. It'll say erase selected. So if I press yes, all these three images have been deleted. Now, if you use the EM1 Mark II or the EM1X, there is a quicker way to select multiple images for deletion. Under the thumbnail preview, you see this is the thumbnail preview. If you want to select multiple images quickly, all you have to do is press the record button and hold it down you'll see that the red mark is being selected on that particular image and use the back dial and turn it. And you'll see that all these multiple images are selected as you quickly turn the dial. Now, if I were to unselect these images quickly, you will do the same by holding down the record button. You see that the tick mark disappears from here. Then I will scroll the wheel to quickly deselect the images. Bear in mind that this particular quick selection feature is only available in the EM1X and EM1 Mark II. Tip number two, lock your images to prevent them from accidental deletion. Some photography opportunities only happen once in a lifetime. And to ensure that we don't lose those images before we transfer them successfully to a computer, it is very crucial to protect them. And as a precaution, and as a precaution, it is wise to lock the images. Now, to lock certain files and to prevent them from accidental deletion, in the preview process, go and press the OK button. Once you press the OK button, you'll come with this uh, list of options. Go to the key icon, the key here, press the key icon. Then you'll have to either press up or down to enable the lock. I'll press up, then you'll see the key icon at the top right corner here. The green key icon here means that this particular image has been locked. I can then go to other images to select them and do the same thing, either go up or down to lock the image. Let's say that I have locked this image and I'm okay with that. Now, during the previewing of your images, if the image is being locked from being deletion, you'll see the key icon display at the top here. And what happens when you press the delete button? You'll see that the top icon, the key green icon, will flash when you try to delete it, telling you that this particular image cannot be deleted as long as it is being locked. To unlock this image, you will have to do the same process. Press OK. Go to the key icon again from the list of options. Then you can either press up or down. There was another image that I've locked earlier on. This is the one. You can see the green icon. It means that this image is being protected. Then I'll just press the up icon to disable the locking of this image. Tip number three, 
use the touch screen on your LCD screen to quickly select multiple images from the thumbnail preview. This is a more efficient and effective method to quickly select multiple images. Either you want to delete them or share them out of your camera to your smart devices using the OiShare app via Wi-Fi, or you can lock the multiple selected images all at once. Say that we are dealing with a batch of files, we have dozens or even hundreds of images that we want to delete all together. All right, so when we preview the image, you'll see that there's a lot of images that we want to delete all together. So what we can do, we can use the touch screen to our advantage. You see the arrow button at the bottom, press that to enable these options here. This check at the bottom left corner, press that, enable that. So now you have the multiple selection enabled. I can quickly touch to select the images that I want to use either for quick deletion or sharing or locking. So say that I want to delete all these images, I'll just press randomly all the images that I want to delete so that I've selected like more than 10 images now. Then I can press the delete button at the bottom here and I can delete them all together. Right, besides that, I can also select multiple images and I can share them via the Wi-Fi. You can see the share icon here. This is for quick sharing using the OI Share app to your smart devices. I can also, let's still select this, choose the other, any other images and say that I want to keep these five images quickly. I can lock them. Once I've pressed the lock button, you can see there's a key icon on these images and they cannot be deleted anymore. I think this is a more, I strongly believe that this is a more efficient and effective method dealing with a lot of files, especially if you are doing a lot of burst continuous shooting. Tip number four, enable a quick jump to 100% magnification preview. By default, we will have to scroll multiple times on the back dial to get to 100% magnification. There is a shortcut to enable you to just turn the back down once so that the preview would jump to one-to-one -one or 100% magnification. I think that this will be very helpful when we are checking the images for the critical focus accuracy. Now, typically, after we take a photograph, as we preview the images, we have to turn the back down multiple times for 100% preview. If it's a JPEG file, it is seven times. If it's a RAW file, it is five times. Right, so you have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until you get to the magnification that you want. This can get very daunting if you have to keep doing this for many, many, many images. Now, to enable the quick jump to one to one magnification, go to menu, go to the cogs under D2, the menu D2, find the preview default setting instead of recently, go to equally value and enable the equally value. Now, let's say that I'll take this photograph. If I want to preview that, all I have to do is just turn the back dial once, just one single turn, and it'll bring me to 100% preview immediately, right? This is a JPEG, so the seven times preview is the one-to-one. -one. Say that if I'm shooting raw, bear in mind this is very important, if I shoot raw, then it will show you a smaller JPEG for preview. If I just make a quick turn, the one to 100% preview is five times. So if you scroll beyond that, the image will look very mushy. So if you're shooting just raw, it is five times. If it's JPEG, it is uh, seven times. And of course, if uh, you're shooting JPEG plus raw, it will be seven times as well. So I'll just quickly show you JPEG plus raw. If I preview this, of course, because you already have the JPEG file, the camera will make, take advantage of that JPEG file to show you a full size, seven times, 100% magnification preview. This will surely help you to check your 100% autofocus critical accuracy much quicker by just a single turn of the dial for quick previewing purposes. Tip number five, ensure that the color profile of your LCD screen is natural. There are two color profiles for the LCD screen on every OMD cameras. Either it is vivid or natural. If you have selected the color profile to display vivid, then the display will show very high in contrast and oversaturated image. This is not representative of the final image that you have taken. So to ensure that your LCD screen displays more accurate colors, you should set the LCD color profile to natural. To find the color profile of the LCD screen, first go to menu, go to the last tab, which is the wrench icon, select 
the setting where it says adjust brightness and color temperature of the LCD monitor, go in, you'll see that there are two color profiles available for you, vivid or natural, and you can use the info button to toggle between these settings. If I go to vivid, it is a lot more saturated and it gives you a false sense of color saturation in your image and the color accuracy is definitely off. So I would definitely highly recommend you to stay at natural, which is a more accurate representation of the contrast and the color that is captured on your image during your previewing process. Tip number six, you can customize the duration of instant playback after each image is being taken. Now every time we take a photograph, by default the camera will display the image and there is that short duration of display time. You can customize that. Go to menu under the range uh, tab, which is the last tab of the menu. Go to record view. It says choose how long pictures are displayed after shooting. You can customize the duration of display. Say that I want it to be just two seconds. Enable that. If I take a photograph, it will show the photographs for two seconds and back to the live view. Now I typically will disable this but you, there are a few options that you can do you can choose the duration of display or you can turn it off or you can leave it on now after it, the image is being taken if you enable this auto review the image will instantly be previewed you'll be brought to the preview screen and you can quickly inspect your images from here I don't normally do this. My general preference is to turn this off so that I don't have any image preview. So after I take the photograph, I, the, the camera will bring me right back to the live view where there is very little chance for, for me to miss any crucial moments if they are happening immediately after every shot. Tip number seven, you can add additional information during your image previewing process, including the histogram or highlight and shadow clipping warnings. To enable the additional information, go to menu under the cogs, we shall find display D1. Under D1, go to info settings, inside info settings, review info, here, please check the histogram and highlight and shadow. Histogram is straightforward, it will show you the histogram and highlight and shadow will show you the clipping warning. Now that I've enabled this, say that uh, this, let's just purposely make this photograph overexposed. Right, so I'll review these images. To enable the display, all you have to do is just press info. This is the histogram, it shows that uh, the exposure is mostly to the right and I'll press info again and you show that this particular region that's blinking red this is the highlight clipping warning it means that I cannot recover any details of this image from this particular zone All right say that now I severely underexpose this image see if we get some shadow clipping warning All right obviously there you go the blacker parts, uh, which is blinking blue, this is the, the region in the image that, uh, that shows that uh, the dark areas are completely black and this is non-recoverable. I think that the highlight and shadow warnings are very important during preview. Uh, you can enable them during your shooting process in the live view, but that is during the live view. It is not representative. It's not 100% representative of your final image that's being captured. The warning in the final image is more accurate. That's all the tips I have to share in this video. I hope you have found some of these tips useful for your own shooting process. If you have any additional tips to share regarding previewing or the LCD screen on the Olympus OMD camera, please feel free to leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you have liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel and I will definitely make more videos coming this way. Until the next one, please remember to go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.